Welcome back to Brent Tang and Brent Barnett. Today we're doing another custom shop makeover. Now these are the episodes where you send me video and pictures of your setup and I choose one to Gibraltarize. I show you how Gibraltar works with any brand, with any configuration, and creates the look that you need for your kit. For those of you that want to submit, please send all video and pictures to brenthang.gibraltar at gmail.com. So, the drummer that we are making over today is Nick DiVirgilio. So this is a special situation. Nick is a friend of mine who works for Sweetwater Music and he went out on a European tour with his band Big Big Train. He asked me to design him a custom rack. Now we love the idea, we love the concept, so we jumped right in. Now, Nick's setup consists of 10 13 inch rack toms, 16, 18 floor, 22 inch kick, 14 inch snare, and then a 12 inch auxiliary side snare. For cymbals, he's using four crashes, two chinas, two splashes, a ride, and hi hats. Now when I asked Nick what he wanted, he said that he really loved the look of the stealth, the stealth rack. He wanted all the bars to be as low profile as he could possibly get them, but he still wanted to kind of make a statement because he's out on the road. So I chose to build him two custom side racks. Now I based it off of the stealth system because that's what he wanted. Now what's great about this type of setup is that it will give him plenty of mounting space. So as the tour progresses, if he needs to add more accessories, more, uh, more drums, more cymbals, and even more electronics, this will allow him to expand his setup without having to expand the footprint. Plus it also gives him the look that he really wants. When he's traveling, he's gonna be going from venue to venue to venue, and he's gonna be setting up and tearing down a lot, which is gonna take time. This is ideal for a rack setup. So Nick sent me a bunch of pictures of his kit so I could see how he has everything placed. From the front, from the back, from the sides, underneath, overhead. This really helped me to create the design. Then he sent me um, the distances between the front cymbal stand and the back cymbal stand on each side. So this allowed me to determine the length of each side rack. So then I took all my ideas and created a little line drawing on paper. I uh, color coded all the bars and then I sent it off to him. And with a few tweaks back and forth, this is what we came up with. Gibraltar is an open system. It's not just clamps, tubes, connector joints, and cymbal arms. It's a system of parts used to build structures that will work with any branded drum set with flash and style. Now Nick has a very unique setup. He's got a number of cymbals on his hi-hat side, a number of cymbals on his floor tom side, and he also has two rack toms that are offset the bass drum. I needed to be able to create a side rack that would accommodate everything comfortably and allow him to move everything around if he needed to. So let's have a look at what I did with the rack. So let's have a look at the hi-hat side. Nick wanted a stealth style rack. So I based this entire setup off the stealth rack, the vertical mounting system. But because of how he has his toms and his cymbals all oriented, I wanted to give them a little bit more breathing room for mounting. So I added a second vertical to the T-leg of, of the stealth rack. This gives me an outer leg to mount the crossbars to. Then I added a 40 inch curved crossbar to the top of the vertical on the outside of the leg. This gives me an upper outer tier. Then I added a second 40 inch curved crossbar to the lower part of the leg on the inside. So now it gives me a lower inner tier. I now have a two tiered setup. Then I added another short vertical with a T leg in the back and voila, I have a double tiered side rack based off of the stealth vertical mounting system. So let's start with our rack toms. The 10 and 13 is mounted to a double tom mount right out of the front leg of the stealth. Then I have the 14 inch snare mounted to the snare basket. And then out of the back clamp of the double tom mount, I have the splash. So we have the 10 and 13, the snare, and then the splash all mounted to one particular unit. Then going over to my left main crash, I have that mounted out of the second front leg of the rack. I needed to get a little bit more height, so I added a, an accessory shaft extender so I could extend it up and get, it, get the cymbal placed exactly where I wanted because everything is very low. Next, 
we have our second splash, and this is mounted to the top curved bar. Then we have our china, which is also mounted to the top curved bar, but I also needed this a little higher, so I added an accessory shaft extender. So then the effects crash is mounted directly out of the back leg of the rack, which leaves us with the hi-hat and the secondary snare. I'm using a no-leg hi-hat stand, connecting it to the, to the lower tier of the rack, which is actually closer to me. Then for the snare, I'm using a no-leg snare stand, and I'm connecting it also to the lower tier of the rack. This puts everything within perfect reach of how he's gonna need it. So now let's move over to the floor tom side. The rack, I just duplicated what I had on the hi-hat side, but with one minor difference. On the hi-hat side, for both verticals, each vertical is connected to something else. On the floor tom side, the vertical that's holding the ride symbol isn't connected to anything but the T-leg. It needs additional support for when he's really laying into it. So we don't want it to sway back and forth like this. So I added a 12 inch bar with an adjustable T-clamp that rests and places right on the floor so that when he pounds on his ride, it doesn't sway this direction or that. Moving over to the right main crash, I have that mounted out of the second vertical in the front of the rack. Then we have our china that's mounted to the top crossbar. I needed to get a little bit higher, so I used an accessory shaft extender to get the height that I needed. Then next to that, we have the secondary right crash, which is also mounted to the top crossbar. Lastly, we have our mounted tambourine, which is mounted to the lower crossbar on the inside of the verticals. So here are the product highlights for this setup. We have the Stealth Vertical Mounting System, the GS VMS. We have the GSMP, which is a 14 inch mounting post, which are the legs for both side racks. 40 inch curve bar, SC GPR 40C. Then we have the 9707 NLDP legless hi-hat stand, the SC EA100, which is the extension arm to connect the hi-hat stand to the rack. Then we have the 9706 NL, which is the legless snare stand that we connected to the lower tier of the left side. Then we have the SC78 ASE, which is the accessory shaft extender that's 7 8 inch in diameter. Well, that's it for this episode of Gibraltar's Custom Shop Makeover. Nick, thank you for letting me design your rig. I had a blast, and this is gonna be great for you out on the road. For those of you that wanna submit for the makeover, please send all videos and pictures to brentang.gibraltar at gmail.com, and please leave a comment. Let us know what you thought of the makeover. Let us know if you have any ideas, because we learn a lot of our ideas from you. Send us pictures, we would love to see them. Visit our Instagram, Facebook, please. We wanna connect with you. So we'll see you next time, thanks.